Hi Libra, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your reading for the 9th to the 15th of March 2020 and um, as you can see I've got the crystal ball uh, ready uh, perhaps you might have been in the live session last night and already noticed that there are a couple of videos out there with uh, and they are extensive with the crystal ball so let's have a look what we have for you I've got the, my, the crystal ball was given to me by my sister and I'm going to clean it up because I've been using it for Virgo and let's have a look what it will bring you okay so I'm going to show you the crystal ball perhaps you might see something in it that I might miss and it is a smoky quartz I'm already seeing things for you so I'm just turning it around so you can see the light now I've got to do this during daylight otherwise I can't see what's in the crystal ball so it's uh, been great fun doing this my, I've been really spoiled rotten by my sister and she's given this to me so awesome it's a smoky quartz from the Himalaya so let's have a look uh, Libra okay I see a tree I see a tree well there's extensive branches so I think you're reaching out for more I also see two hearts so the branches are shaped into a heart I also see the stem so perhaps you might be getting married and I think you're getting together and I think you want to extend the family as well and uh, pretty much uh, right now directly and I also see the Sun so you might be getting married or you might have already got married and you're finding out you're pregnant um, there could be twins it could be twins um, I also see that you are feeling safe where you are where you're living I think you're going to stay there definitely for a while as it is a safe neighborhood uh, and you love it and I do see two hearts two hearts are come as one and you've shot roots down but it's also the family the tree also represents the family tree and um, so you might be living near family you might be living near family there's also a clover uh, there's a lot of green here so I think you've luck and you've also got a garden perhaps a, a garden full of trees there is a, a, a pinnacle if that's the right word like a cone uh, something very pointing uh, very important there is a pinnacle to all this uh, perhaps you might if you are going to have a large family then there might be large houses you are building you that's the pinnacle the pinnacle is like a tower you're building up if you want something uh, for a long term uh, like the tower it can also mean maturity the tree is mature and old and aged and it is steadfast so I think you are building for long term or perhaps you might be moving into a house with a garden um, and that will be your legacy uh, and you're moving away from an apartment that could be it as well it could also be a house on a hill <laughs> if that makes sense to you remember I'm reading for generally so if it doesn't resonate with you then please have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign now it is um, a quite a peaceful road you're on at the moment there's not too many ups and downs you've left you've left a difficult uh, period behind you as I've got a kidney shape here uh, kidney shape kidney shape uh, kidney shape you might have uh, yeah kidney shape you might have 
had something with a kidney shape it's also like an embryo an embryo shape that with the baby the baby is lying you might have uh you might have had well, yeah, well that's a good idea um the, it's like the baby is born but you want to go into a bigger house because there's another two on the way most probably um, because we had the tree two trees so I think there will be twins on the way it might not resonate with you um, not everybody can have twins but there will certainly be three children because I also see three pillars and that represents to me as um, family and it turns up into branches like that some of you might be like I said a house on a hill now I'm seeing a mountain so uh, some of you might be living on a mountain or on a hill and um, because the house is yeah, well it's built into the hill I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying but it's built on a hill it's not slanted it's steady it will grow uh, it is a positive house uh, when you went to see the house boom 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 it's like orbs were around you orbs of luck or stars something was glistening and caught your eye and you wanted that house I keep on going on about the same thing but I'm sorry that is all what I'm seeing uh, it might be on a rocky mountain or the mountain might uh, be called rocky rocky okay well I hope that helps I hope you like that um, so you know you're safe and when I'm pushing this away I'm getting also a swirl and this swirl is doing this and so don't go round and round and don't be a, like um, a cyclone or where uh, that's Dutch vertical wind that means don't be too fast in things don't be too hasty be steady like the tree I'm sorry I just have to drink some water now I'm going on to the card reading and I'm using the Enchanted Tarot uh, card and this deck is dedicated to the feminine side of us and the lady uh, representing not the feministic side, uh, not the feminism uh, this is the beautiful, go and have a look at the review um, and how I've explained it there um, you, uh, it's the feministic side of us without being a feminist this author compl uh, um, complemented that so beautifully the first card you have is the eight of pentacles okay that's for Monday then I'm going to take one uh, I'm going to shake the cards again I'm going to shake the cards again one was turned but I didn't want to take it and we've got the devil out again Ooh, that's the second time and these two have come out and that is the tower and the strength well the strength is like the tree rooted you're in your strength don't be the whirlwind though don't be as fast as the whirlwind Just keep steady okay then we have the house of shadows so if you like the Adams family you like this deck go and have a look at that review I just did that yesterday it is by Monica Bodrinsky and I love this deck because it's so quirky and it's, she's got a sense of humor and that you can um, depict sense of humor in pictures the way she does I think it's magic okay the first card is the ship um, then the second card is the woman Wow so that is the first time the woman has come out and you've got the Sun and you've got the stalk right let's have a look if it this resonates with you and I've also got the Metatron cards and the angel feather cards right at the end um, those are your Oracle cards for the week 
and I've got another healing stone and I'm putting that with all my readings and my angel from Brenda Tarot readings and we do exchange things charms cards packs uh, we have worked together but since Facebook um, doesn't allow double screens to interact and we have stopped it we can't do any more but we used to be the terrible t uh, the, the terrible three of the terrible tarot uh, it was nice she's a good reader and she's also a reiki master like me okay and here we go we've got the eight of pentacles on monday the ninth uh libra you've got recognition for your hard work Woo. there might be a head hunter hunting your head for a new job Woo. or you might be starting a new study so good stuff your hard work is paying off perhaps you can finally uh, buy that house that you want because why you've got the ship the ship your ship is coming in or you might be going on honeymoon or you might be going on holiday moving home and crossing water I know it is a gigantic squid or uh, I don't know what you call it a quail no no uh, some it's a it's it's a stingy monster we have them in Hol in Holland sorry darling um, I've just looked it up and it is a jellyfish a gigantic jellyfish with the sensors on it and when you get stung by them it itches and it hurts so there's a jellyfish it might be wobbly but you'll get there <laughs> I love the humor and you've got number three so I'll show you I've got number three there you go so that means creative you will get there you are creative look at the way you have built this arch not everybody can do that you are constructive and you can do it you are precise you know how to do the walk and the talk so you will talk your way through it is if just to get where you want to go okay Libra then in the middle of the week we have the devil the devil stands for um, addictions bad habits I think that is a better explanation for it so this could be you you might have a bad habit that you're working too hard and too much and you're not home at the right time um, or somebody might be manipulating you bossing you that is a bad habit as well or you might be feel beholden to someone don't be beholden you have to stand in your own strength and so do they so if you have somebody that has a bad habit or a, 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 an addiction then tell them to seek advice so that they can stand in their own power and it could be a woman if you're a man it could be your partner but if you're a Libra woman you could be the one that's either having this bad addiction uh, or bad habit or um, you might be bossed by a woman okay it doesn't have to be your partner it could also be a girlfriend okay and you've got 29 there that becomes 11 so you might be meeting a new woman if you're not hooked up but be careful she might have a bad habit she might have a swearing habit or she might have a habit of staying attached because she's attached to the spider look at that she likes to keep people in her web it's magic how how the interpretations work that's your that's your paranormal your intuition your brain working your sight a picture says a thousand words now you've got 11 so luck is on your side the angels are giving you a doorway to go through okay <clears throat> then on Friday you've got an unexpected event something is coming down this could be a sudden change boom something was not built on proper foundations well if somebody has a bad habit in a relationship or a friendship then yes there and if they are holding tightly on to you and uh, being codependent uh, then um, it is your your right to break free so then when you break free um, because in the devil in the traditional deck you've got people they are tied up 
but their hands are free so they can decide to break away perhaps you are breaking away because you felt tied up and caught in the web so then something might be coming to an end Libra an unexpected end perhaps you could not make the choice or a decision to leave and so the angel and the universe stepped in and gave you this new beginning when one door closes 20 will open okay so take it as an adventure okay and it's going to be a good new beginning so it could be also that you have stopped the addictions and got seeked help and again you've got the snake around your neck tightening holding on choking and you are going on you there is this sudden change you've got that wake-up call so now you are moving into a positive period you are in the spotlight the Sun something is being illuminated perhaps that you and now are uh, conscious of your um, bad habit and you've had your wake-up call and the Sun is rising now for you and you're in the spotlight a Leo might help you with this or a Leo might um, uh, be the one that has an addiction Libra um, because we have Pentacles that's Virgo Capricorn and Taurus um, and we've got the Sun so those are the indicators Leo uh, yes and I think the devil is Capricorn yes the devil is representing uh, Capricorn oh, sorry I just had to take my jumper off it's so warm in here it's when I'm really working and it's really starting to work and I know I'm on the right track I really get either hot or cold but I'm getting boiling now <laughs> the Sun is shining <laughs> not really anyway you could be hearing of a birth you could be hearing of birth of a child or of um, a project a new job like I said you've got recognition with the eight of Pentacles and you there is a headhunter around he might be offering you a new job or a promotion even you might be moving home like I said in the beginning um, you might be going taking that long uh, longly long wanted holiday because you've been working so hard and uh, now you n you can afford that holiday if you're not moving home remember this is a general reading so you know um, you know what it resonates to if it doesn't resonate with you then remember this is a general reading have a look at your rising sign and your moon sign but positive changes are coming something was not built on proper foundation you have learned from the past so the next new thing you're going to do you're going to seek more information the Sun also illuminates and when illumination is there it is shining on something a question a situation an issue you need more information to do need more research before you take action you might be getting married you might take the relationship to the next level even if you've been married for a long time you might take it up to an exciting level by going on holiday taking uh, your partner away unexpectedly a surprise like the tower that will do the relationship good more often than not okay now we're going to the weekend and you've got the strength you are in your strength you know that love and patience heals everything and that will perhaps you are the one that's helping somebody heal from an addiction or a bad habit this could be eating too much chocolate uh, or drinking too much water uh, although it should that shouldn't be too bad um, but or eating too much food or not eating at the right time da -da 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 -da, uh, you know what I mean you will help this person 
to come back into their strength so that they're at, in the balance with you. There's definitely new beginnings and you've got moving home here, you've got new beginnings, birth and again this is confirmed by the stalk. Your strength your strength will also turn things round 360 degrees that is what the stalk means as well there could be a birth here you are you've got the doctor with the case the little uh, doctor's case look at what he's got in his hand or it could be a bookkeeper everything might turn out so well with this promotion and this new job you need advice from a bookkeeper or an accountant Uh, this means 360 degrees turnaround, moving home, a birth, a new job and you're in your strength because it's number 17 and this is number 8 and that number 8 is also strength and number 8 is the money house and also inheritance, the house of inheritance, money, uh, good business, leaders, um, also strength so there will be money coming your way Libra although um, underneath the deck you've got 19 so that becomes a 10 also a new beginning the tower you've got the tower but it means differently in the tarot sorry it means differently in the tarot it means ambition don't forget the people around you, okay, um, that are supporting you whilst you are trying to get to the top. Here you are, the flag's out, you've done it, boom. You, but you might be, this can also mean a mature man. You, you might have uh, in the past uh, asked for advice from a mature man, could be a father figure. How did you get to the top? or you might be moving away from high rise or moving to high rise what if it is an if it is a birth you might be moving to a house to have more room because there is an extension coming in the family okay but don't isolate yourself you must remember the people that support you and are there whilst you're work, getting yourself to the top So, because when you reach the top it can be very lonely and remember, um, I always keep it with the Lenamon, I always keep the tarot in the back of my mind. Unexpected changes, something was not built on proper foundations. Here you see the tower fall and here you see the tower stand on a rock in one piece. That is also the different. Remember where you come from, you've got a ghost here okay so remember that is definitely remember your next of kin and where you come from you got their knowledge you got their genes and that is also how you got to the top to where you are you have the knight of ones again the men are hidden and masked because this deck uh, promotes the feminine side and the woman and it's crazy that I'm using this deck on today I didn't even know the International Women's Day existed but when you receive news this could be uh, about a move because the Knight of Wands also stands for going on holiday or moving home um, you must act upon it swiftly it could also be official news like signing papers the mortgage promotion okay you might also be meeting a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo and we've got Leo here and we've got the lion so there must be something significant with a Leo right now we're going on to the oracle cards and the first card I'm going to take is the angel feather card and I'll be shaking them Libra
you can use this card you can use this card uh, for meditation you can use this card uh, to eat the color I mean if you get orange then you can eat oranges if you eat get black then you can eat licorice you can wear it and here we go you've got caramel now if you've got a, a, a bad habit of eating too much or too sugary too many sweets then be warned and this is a new work venture wow what did I tell you somebody that might be a headhunter you've got recognition and then you've got the Sun promotion and you've got the news and once stands for action so that means work a uh, hobby uh, is creative uh, so there might be a new hobby or your hobby could become your career big changes are imminent okay and if you've got a bad habit working too much then take your family in consideration like I said don't forget the people around you the angels are here to present you with new choices regarding your paid or unpaid work a new character job hobby or project is on the horizon I love it when a, the cards come together like that Wow now we're going to Archangel Metatron and he is the angel of white light now this is the angel of uh, caramel um, that is not a chakra but caramel is made from yellow and brown so if you relate if you go back into the colors then it would be the closest would be yellow archangel jovial and there's no archangel angelic in the angelic chakras for brown but brown usually means earthing earth yourself work with in the garden work with clay work with earth neutralize yourself and you can do that by meditating on the color wearing it and eating caramel okay now we've got I've just been um, shaking the cards and we've got communication speak up and be heard it is time for you to be hurt so if somebody has a bad habit talk to them about it and give them your gently your point of view let them know that you're there bring the message to them okay and it got number five something is not in balance that is what Archangel Metatron is saying so get the balance back before you have this unexpected change you are warned now so be forewarned is forearmed you still have the power um, because you are standing in the power to change the situation okay you don't want this new work venture to go wrong because somebody is um, stifling you tying your neck or holding on to you that you have to be you have to drag them like a dead horse you don't want to be stifled or choked or pulled on so free yourself and stand in your strength that's the message okay I hope you enjoy this reading please let me know in the reactions what did you think of the crystal reading would you like to see it more often um, and I uh, did you like the cards best if you would like to see the enchanted dream tarot the review it's in the playlist also on Charlie's angel tarot.com and the Metatron cards that's this and this week I'll be uploading the review onto the website of the house of shadows but it's already up and running on YouTube and there's a beautiful video telling what's happening in the nearby future so have a look at that news and updates take care stay beautiful and stand in your strength 
love you all and I hope you will share and like and give us the thumbs up, I do appreciate it. And until I see you in the live or in the next video, ciao ciao. Thank you.